Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineers for Civil YouTube channel. Today we analyze a tall structure using STAT Pro providing different wind intensities as per 875 part 3. IS code 875 part 3. Okay, first of all we have to create a model and before modeling we have to create a plan. So we assume all data. Okay, this tutorial only how to apply wind intensities and how to create tall structure. So we during this tutorial we assume all data so, so first of all we create a plan so go to the new project space wind load okay i am creating randomly a plan we create first of all one node and select that node and translate in x direction 3 uh, span of 5 meter length and ok then select these three uh, members and translate in z direction same as three span in five meter link in z direction this is and then select two members and translate in x direction four meter span of two and then select these two in z three meter two span okay then select these translate in minus z direction and to link and okay okay this is irregular plan of a building now the number of floor we assume 20 so select the plan translate in y direction number of step 20 and each floor height is 3 meter we assume ok this is the tall structure now create support at the base create support fix support ok now create properties we assume for beam 0 0.6 depth and 0 0.5 width and for column zero point seven to zero point seven square first property we have to select all beams beams go to select beam pallet to x beam parallel to z and then apply this property can you check in render all beams have property now select column property go to select parallel beam and y and assign ok go to the render view and check ok done the next is we have to apply loads first load is dead second is live in dead load we assume sulfate and the floor load and the building height is 3 meter to 20 60 meter is building height and we assume dead load is minus 4 each floor at each floor okay sorry 0 to 60 meter and sulfate assigned to view something problem in floor load because we apply from 0 to 60 but not take it this is okay oh that's why To change minus 60 because we move floor in downward direction of no problem minimum is minus 60 and uh, maximum is 0 okay okay and live load we have to apply 3 kilometer per meter square and minus 60 to 0 okay 
the model we have ready model now what we do go to definition win definition and add first definition we add close click on that definition again add and now the starting of wind load okay is 875 part 3 according to this code you have to calculate intensity of wind with height okay so first of all you have to know that basic wind speed of that location of the building and the unit of this is meter per second and this value you get from IS code last pages okay from IS code next we need design with speed VZ and that is equal to K1 K2 K3 K4 and VB VB is already known by code K1 is risk factor height factor topography factor and cyclone factor these are the factors multiply to the basic wind speed you get the design wind speed in meter per second and this factor you also get from the code and this formula is also you can get from the code k1 risk factor k1 value is uh, what is the risk of the wind speed k2 is height factor what is the height of the building as well as the near structures depend on that k3 is uh, topography of the location and k4 is cyclone factor is cyclone factor is not considered for like Delhi and CR so we neglect this okay you can get these factors from the IS code multiply by basic wind speed you get design wind speed now next is wind pressure is equal to 0 0.7 around I think and VZ square this is the formula of basic wind speed sorry uh, wind intensity you all thing you get from the is code then put here the intensity and the height so what we do we assume assume 0 assume 1.03 intensity at 60 meter okay these are for american and russian code you can change here for indian you have to calculate manually add factor is taken at 1 this factor is also you can read in is875 what type of factor we can consider add close then in this exposure you have to assign to view next we have to add load case of type wind w x is wind load in x direction w minus x is wind load in opposite of x direction w z is wind load in z direction and w minus z is opposite of z direction okay we have child for load combination click on wind load in x and select here from wind load wind load in x building height is minus six zero two zero factor is one add you can check wind load is applied then wind load in opposite direction of x factor is minus one more opposite add and close you can check in z direction wind load in z in opposite of z minus one for opposite not choose minus z okay minus z is the uh, lever sides now you can check all load is applied the next is you have to add load combination from here uh, auto indian and generate 
these are 26 load combination according to Indian IS code then analysis take some time because tall structure and too many loads okay then go to the front view go to the post processing and check the deflection only in one direction I want to check in deflection in x direction only I'm select only one corner and select nodes and check deflection this is the deflection due to wind load in x this is the deflection and as well as we can see the value in x direction these are the deflection due to wind load in x okay and uh, due to wind load is minus x is same not same because uh, irregular building okay and then check the maximum deflection you can scroll this okay we can check only wind load in x direction because we compare the intensities okay what we do we take a screenshot of this and then go to the modeling go to the whole structure and load and definition definition wind definition change the intensity of the wind 1.5 now again analysis then go to the top view ok go to the front view select this row new view then go to the top view select only this and front view and go to the post processing this is the deflection select the value result view value not global x annotate ok due to wind load in x and before intensity this now you can check the intensity increase the deflection is also increased this is the deflection due to wind load in x direction and this is a corner of a building so you can write a research paper how you can write a research paper on a analysis of tall structure with regular or irregular shape with different intensity we know that is the uh, universal truth if you increase the intensity of wind intensity increase the deflection but you can analyze different wind speed uh, sorry different wind intensities what is the effect of deflection on regular irregular or what type of shape of building have best performance when increase the intensity of wind you can write a research paper on that on this tutorial only about how to analyze a building and check the deflection and apply a wind load if you like this video please subscribe my channel and please support on patreon only three dollar per month you can support my work thank you